हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्किल बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो फर्स्ट कोर्ट सेगमेंट इज कंटेनिंग टू फंक्शन फर्स्ट इज मेन एंड सेकेंड इज सन सो हेयर सन फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड and the result will be stored inside k and then printf will print value of k so you have to identify the output of this code segment so it will print 7 so how uh, this uh, output will be printed size of float is 4 so sun function uh, will receive four value inside n so n plus equals to 2.5 so n is integer variable so it will uh, convert into n equals to n plus 2.5 so n is 4 so 4 plus 2.5 so 2.5 will be converted into 2 because uh, variables are of integer type so this n will contain 6 4 plus 2 equals to 6 then return n n will return 6 to this k so k will be receiving 6 then this printf is printing plus plus k so plus plus k means pre increment operation so 6 will become 7 so that's why output will be 7 then this is next code segment so its output you can see garbage value because uh, int i equals to i plus plus j equals to j plus plus and k equals to k plus plus so variables are uh, declared and uh, we have uh, assigned uh, their incremented values but we have not initialized any variable here so that's why garbage values will be printed this is next code segment uh, it is containing while loop then if condition inside if we are using printf two times then break and continue are used so break is used to terminate the loop and continue uh, takes the control of loop to the next iteration so its output will be hello and 5 so first of all while one so it is known as infinite loop means uh, one is always considered as true because it is non zero value so while one and it is also a constant value so uh, it is indicating uh, inf infinite loop then if printf so this is first printf statement inside this printf percent d and again printf statement is written so this inner printf will print hello now printf has a characteristic that the number of character which it prints it returns that value so this printf is printing five characters so this printf will return five and that five will be printed in place of this percent d so first hello will be printed then through this percent d five will be printed then this complete outer printf is printing 5 means single digit so it will return 1 so if will be containing 1 1 means true so break will be uh, uh, will be executed so break is used to terminate the loop it means this loop will be terminated so output will be hello and 5 so friends uh, we can use printf statement inside if this is another code seg code segment in this code segment string uh, is a, a variable of character type which contains satvik man as a string then display is a function call it is passing string so its address will be stored inside this pointer so whenever we pass name of a string or name of array then its base address will be passed into a function that can be received by a pointer then with the help of printf and percent s we can print all the characters which are available in our string so output of this code will be satvik man this is another code segment which is uh, framing 2d array then swapping operation is done here with the help of pointer and then results are displayed so you have to identify its output so it will show compilation error why so uh, here 
while we are swapping values of third and fourth index means we are changing uh, the locations of uh, those uh, uh, 2d locations so we cannot do so uh, because if we try to change the addresses of uh, 2d array then compiler will generate an error because we cannot change the physical address of any array so we can uh, uh, swap these locations with the help of pointers so here we have used only temporary pointer uh, so you have to use a pointer in place of city 3 and city 4 if you assign uh, addresses of these location into separate pointers then you you will be able to swap the values but if you directly use uh, array notations uh, for swapping purposes then compiler will perform an error message This is next code segment. Here ISJR initialized with 0, then if condition and 2 times printf is written. So its output will be 0, 0. Why so? So first if condition is checked, it has two parts. Then uh, First is i and then j++. So end operator first check its left part, which is i, and its value is 0. So 0 is considered as false. So uh, logical end says if first condition is false then second condition will not be checked so j plus plus will not be checked means this if is false so if is connected with only first printf because curly braces are not available so this uh, first printf will not be executed then the second printf will be executed because it is not connected with if so it is printing value of i and j so i will be printing 0 and j will be printing 0 and this j++ operation will also not be performed because uh, first time i is 0 that's why uh, this if condition will be considered as false without checking this j++ operation thank you for watching this video hope these question and answers will be beneficial to improve your uh, interview skills thank you